Okay, well, it is 10 o'clock, so why don't we begin? <laughs> How's that for enthusiasm, Mr. Fawcett? Uh, now, uh, here, we are very pleased today to have uh, Mr. Paul Corrigan, who is superintendent of Elk Island Catholic Schools, to speak to us uh, today on uh, The Everlasting Man, uh, one of Chesterton's uh, great works. Now, uh, many of you students out there might not actually know what a superintendent is. Um, and so I thought I might give you an analogy to help understand who exactly is Mr. Corrigan? And I thought the best way to do this would be to uh, make an analogy, a comparison to Aristotle's four causes. Now, you all know Aristotle's four causes very well, except perhaps except a few grade nines. But, um, you know, there's the uh, formal cause, material cause, efficient cause, and final cause. So, for example, if we're creating a statue, our material cause would be the marble, the formal cause would be the shape which the statue takes, the efficient cause would be the sculptor. And the final cause would be this great work of beauty. Now, Chesterton Academy is, could be thought of very much like that. What's the material in Chesterton Academy? Well, it's the students, right? The, you're, you're the material. Um, the, 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 you're being formed. So in terms of form, you're being formed in this classical oh, a Catholic uh, education. Um, but the efficient cause, this is, this is interesting. Um, you might think, what's doing this work. Uh, it, it, now, teachers are not really the efficient cause. Well, they're type efficient cause. They're like called the instrumental cause. So we're kind of like Michelangelo's, uh, we're not the Michelangelo, we're more like the, the chisel. Um, but the principal efficient cause would be Mr. Corrigan. So he is uh, the reason why we have a Chester and Academy at St. Isidore School. He, he started off. And uh, you might be wondering, well, what is the, the final cause? That is a mystery. That is to be seen. This is a great work of beauty, which is unfolding in our midst. And speaking of mysteries, the reason why he's speaking to us today is a bit of a mystery. It's part of the mysterious workings of the kingdom of God. See, he was supposed to speak to our grade 12 students last year, or sorry, at the end of last semester in their final class. And we had this all planned out, uh, you know, a month ahead of time. And check mark the literature 30 teacher picked the right day. Um, but unfortunately, when it came time to speak, he mixed up literature nine and literature 12 and the time. So Mr. Corrigan could not speak then. But this is a great mystery in the working of the kingdom of God that he can now speak to an even greater audience yet uh, here today. So here you have it, uh, Mr. Corrigan, the principal uh, efficient cause and working in the mysterious kingdom of God here to speak more about. Uh, the everlasting man and GK Justin. So, um, with um, further ado, well, let's stay with the word prayer and then we can dive in. Does that sound good? So, let us begin. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gracious and loving God, our Father, giver of life, we thank and praise you for the great gift of your Son, whom you sent to this world to bring us into your marvelous light. We pray, Father, for your blessing upon Mr. Corrigan. Um, you bless his words. You bless his talk. Um, you bless our ears that we may hear, and uh, you may enlighten our minds that we may understand. Uh, and so be moved to grow in love of you and love of neighbor. And we make this prayer with confidence, for we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wow. <laughs> I, we could just keep going. You could just keep introducing me in that fashion for 40 minutes. That would be fine. Uh, I don't think I have ever been introduced um, as a principal cause of anything uh, ever before. So that that's uh, that was unique. I appreciate it. Um, thank you. Thank you for the invitation. Um, I'm going to I'm not going to lie today. This is this is the thing that I look forward to most on my calendar today, um, perhaps this week. But let's not go there. Um, um, I'm very excited to do this. There's um, not much more better I would be happy to speak to um, and to speak to an audience such as yourselves um, that I know will understand much of what we're talking about because of um, the education you guys have had. I um, want to begin by just taking a moment to say how proud I am of all of you. And this is the students, also the staff, but I'm speaking mostly to the students here. Um, for the adventure that you have chosen to embark upon. Um, this was uh, a brainchild a number of years ago, 
And but you guys are the true adventurers, having jumped into this into this alternate form of learning, this new thing, um, both being a Chesterton Academy and being online at the same time. Um, trying to map that with the Alberta curriculum. Um, it has been, to quote orthodoxy, just a, a wheeling adventure that has almost fallen at every uh, step of the way, but somehow, to the grace of God, managed to stand upright. Um, I had an opportunity the other day to read the, oh, and no, I can't remember, that. is it Chesterton Times? Um, what an amazing piece of work that is. Uh, I was so proud to read it. <laughs> um, that is, I'm, I'm sharing that with our trustees. Um, so those of you that are involved in that, and I know there were some grade 12s, and now it's been passed on recently to some some of the younger grades. Um, you truly are doing amazing work, and I would extend that to all of you. Um, I don't think, the one thing that I get in this position is perspective. Perspective on what's going on in the province sometimes, in Western Canada, in education, maybe Canada. Um, what is happening here is truly special. It really is. And that's that's because of the students who have made it so. And take an opportunity at some point to thank the staff who have poured their hearts into this program as well. So thank you. Um, I'm grateful to you all to begin this day. I don't know how much, this is an interesting talk for me because usually when I speak on Chesterton or anything like that, I'm speaking to people who have no understanding of Chesterton. That is not the case here. And I don't know the level of your understanding of Chesterton or the Everlasting Man. So if I say things that you, you know are obvious to you, I will apologize up front. Um, and I've already asked certain people not to correct me in the middle of the talk. Afterwards is fine, but not in the middle of the talk. Um, today, so Everlasting Man is my favorite work by G.K. Chesterton. Um, I came to Chesterton as an adult. Um, because everybody that I liked reading was quoting him and extensively. Um, so you all know, uh, or many of you might know uh, Dr. Peter Kreeft. Um, he is a huge Chesterton fan and he kept quoting, who's this guy he keeps quoting? And there's a political philosopher um, that I read, whose name escapes me right now, it'll come to me at some point. And, and he quoted him, everybody I was reading was quoting him. And I said, I gotta, I gotta read this person a little bit and figure out what's going on. Um, and so I have read virtually nothing else for the last 20 years or so of G.K. Chesterton. I have not read all of Chesterton. Anybody who says they've read all of Chesterton is lying to you. Um, that's not possible. Um, they're, they're still finding stuff that he's written. Um, but I will say I'm not sure that I'll read anything of Chesterton's in my life that is better than Everlasting Man, in my opinion. It is my favorite work of his. Most people would probably choose Orthodoxy. Um, but I'm going to make a case for Everlasting Man here today by telling you a little bit about it. So, And I'll talk for a while, and then I hope I, there's questions. If there's something burning um, that you want to talk about in the, in the middle of it, I'll try to have the chat, and I'll try to be responsive to people right there. So feel free to just jump in at any time. I'm going to present something, just mostly so you don't have to look at me the whole time. And you can look at something else. Now, where is it? I need to talk about my um, the journey that brought me here this morning. Last night, I went looking for my Everlasting Man book, and I could not find it. <laughs> so I'm presenting on this book that I can you guys see that now? No, it's not the slideshow. Okay. okay. No, no, you had, you had, you had, you had it had there for a second. That's good. That'll be, that'll be fine. And, 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 and I couldn't find, find it. Um, um, and and <laughs> this is the book, the book I, have. I have. This is this my copy. copy. That's, that's why I put, why I put it up on this slideshow. It's not the copy that I have right now. If you look, see, I managed to have oral oral copy from someone. I think I gave them this book and I asked for a fact presentation. So I was doing a presentation on a book that I didn't have because... I tend, I tend to give to away, give away copies, copies of this to people, and then I, and I, then I just I just get another one. But this one, one I had held on to because it had my notes in it, and, and I don't know where, I don't where it is. is. Um, um, this morning, so that, so that, that was fine, fine. And, then, and then then I'm going to be reading, reading from, from it, it. And, then and then this morning, morning as I go to my thing, thing something, something that, that you may not want to look forward to in old age is glasses. So I will be reading from the book like this so that I can see it read it loud because I'm not having any glasses today either. But we will manage it together. Does anyone, Does anyone know? know? I'm going to see if 
Does anyone, Does anyone know, know how, how orthodoxy, orthodoxy got, written? got written? Or why, or why it was written? I'll have to. Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> <Mr. Paul. laughs> yes. Yes. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Mr. Fawcett, Mr. Fawcett, does, does your answer, answer involve, involve, the involve the book heretics? heretics? Okay, okay. Well, why, well, don't why don't you chime, chime in for, for a moment, moment on, on that? that. And, and, and. Uh, I, think, I think Zoe, I mean, Zoe knows, knows already, already it's, but uh, basically, basically he had written, written this book, Heretics, heretics uh, in response, response to a lot of popular, popular writers, writers of the time, time who were still <laughs> read, read, like, like, like Rudyard Kipling, Kipling and H.G. Uh, Wells, who kind of thought, who kind of thought the modern, modern world, world was the best you know, thing since sliced bread. bread. And, uh, and uh, his, editor, his editor, I believe, him, him, you've got lots of criticism for these guys, but what do you have to replace them? And he said, that's a good question, sir. He went home, thought about it, and wrote a book. And... And, and uh, uh, yeah, thank yeah, thank you. you. So, so yeah, yeah, especially, especially in, in response to heretics, heretics, he he, he was he criticized, was criticized for, the for the fact that well, what do you what do you actually believe? believe then, you what do you believe? You can tear you everything, everything else down. down. And he wrote, and he wrote orthodox, 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 and this, and this everlasting, everlasting man, man was written, was written later. later. So, so everlasting, everlasting man, man was written after G.K. Chesterton's conversion, conversion to Catholicism. Orthodoxy, 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 Orthodoxy is written before, before his, con his con conversion, conversion to Catholicism. Catholicism. And, and it, it was, was written, written in response. response. Um, and and, and um, um, Mr. Fawcett, Fawcett mentioned, mentioned the person who, to whom, to whom it was a response to. There was a guy by the name of H.G. Wells. It was a teacher, actually. And he decided, he decided to write, to write an outline, outline of his history, history or book called the outline, outline of history, history which basically, basically took, takes from a materialist, materialist point of view. view. So this, so this idea, idea that God, God has no, no it's, it's, it's all about, all about just, just the things, the things I can see, feel, feel, touch. Um, um, and, and takes, takes all, of all of history and, and pushes, pushes this, this, this idea, this idea that, 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 that history, history is just kind of this kind development of humanity. Um, and, um, there and there is no, no, there is no spiritual, spiritual aspect, aspect to it, there is no God, God aspect, aspect to it. To it. Um, um, you know, it you played, played in with a lot of the Darwin stuff that was going, going on at the time, at the time, time as well. well. It, was it was a profoundly influential, influential book. It was, it was a bestseller, bestseller book. book. Um, um, and many, and many of you have probably heard of E.G. Wells. And the... What's my next slide? The... So so it was it was disturbingly... Uh, um, um, influential, influential on, the, on time. the time, and and so so there are a number, number of fellows, fellows who are writers. Who are writers. This, this, is, this is a picture, is a picture of called the conversation, the conversation piece. It's, it's of, of I like I like this, this picture. picture. It's, it's, it's a G.K. Chesterton and his and very, very good friend, friend Hilaire Belloc, who who was was a contemporary, contemporary of Chesterton, also writer. They shared, they shared many ideas. ideas. Belloc, Belloc was, was much more, more of a, a um, well, Bell well, Belloc, Belloc was an Oxford, Oxford history, history scholar, scholar. So, he, so he is much, he is much more qualified, qualified to write, to write on history, history than either H.G. Wells, Wells or G.K. Chesterton, as a matter of fact. fact. Maurice, Maurice Baring, Baring is there as well. As well. I, won't I won't speak on, on him today. today. Um, um, and, and Belloc, Belloc was, also was also much, much more of a, a grouchy, grouchy human, human being, I would suggest, than G.K. Chesterton. G.K. Chesterton spoke of his brother. I don't know if this is something to say I don't know this already, but... Book of his brother, brother when he was born, born we, uh, he, 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 he was born, was born and, and by the time, by the time he, was he was five, we began, we began arguing, and we never, and we never stopped. stopped. But we, we, we argued, we argued, but we never, we never quarreled. quarreled. And G.K. Chesterton's, Chesterton's life, life almost, almost never quarreled, quarreled, quarreled with anyone. With anyone. Um, um, he, argued he argued many a time, time uh, but he uh, didn't quarrel. In fact, in writing about G.K. Chesterton after he died, said said he he lost many an argument because he didn't go for the kill. Um, um, and you may and think, you may that's, think a that's a sad thing, thing but Belloc, Belloc followed, followed that, that statement, statement with, with, but then, but again, then again, he is, he is in, heaven. in heaven. So, so what Belloc, Belloc is saying is, saying is that perhaps, perhaps Chesterton understood, understood that there, that are, there greater are greater things, things than winning, winning the argument. argument. Perhaps, perhaps Belloc, Belloc was learning something, something from Chesterton, from Chesterton, Chesterton in that regard. regard. But at this, but this time, time, when they were when both alive, alive, Belloc certainly had not learned that lesson. He and H.G. Wells Hated, hated each other, each other um, with, um, with a passion. With a passion. Um, um, Chesterton, Chesterton and H.G. Wells, Wells, Wells were friends, friends. They, they disagreed. disagreed. Um, um, so, Belloc so Belloc wrote a book, wrote a book called, called A Companion, a companion to, Mr. to Mr. Wells' Outline, Outline of, history, of History, which which, if, if, which, which completely, completely eviscerates H.G. Wells', Wells Outline, Outline of History. History. attacks at every level. Every level. Um, um, and, and to which H.G. Wells wrote a book in response. 
called, called Mr. Pellard Mr. Objects, objects to, the to the Outline of History, of history by H.G. H. H. Wells. Wells. I have not, I have read, not read these books, books. Full, full disclosure, disclosure. I, have I have not, not read, read these books. books. Um, um, so, so this, this is, is uh, price, price one shilling on that one. one. And, and uh, uh, did, did, didn't, didn't agree, agree with, with that. that. To, which, to which Mr. Mr. Belloc, unsurprisingly, unsurprisingly, Mr. Belloc, Mr. Belloc still, still objects, objects to Mr. Mr. Wells. The fourth, the fourth in the series, in the series of, books of books as they, as went, they went back and forth, forth with each other. Each other. Ch- 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 it's, it's at this point, point where G.K. Chesterton enters the fray, fray with his, with his book, book, The Everlasting, Everlasting Man. Man. Which, is, which a is a response to H.G. Wells, Wells outline of history. So you, you would, would be hard-pressed, hard pressed, I think, if you didn't, if you didn't know, know it going, going in, in to, know to know it when you, when read, you read it. it. He, does, he does make reference, make reference to H.G. Wells, Wells in the preface, in, the preface, um, um, in, which, in which he he, he basically, basically says, says, you know, you know to, to, to all, all very charitable, charitable, which all your, all your experts things allow this amateur, this amateur to, perhaps to perhaps weigh in, weigh in and say a few things. things. And, and um, um, we are grateful, grateful for, it for it. Because, because as I said, said H.G. Wells, Wells outline of history, history had, had a tremendous, tremendous impact. impact. Um, it had an impact on this young lady right here. Has anyone perhaps... Uh, that might, might be, a, be hard, hard to know. No, this, no, this is, is, is a lady, a lady called, called uh, the lady's the lady name, name in this picture is Joy Davidman. She read she read H.G. Wells' Wells line of history, history as a teenager, teenager and became an atheist. atheist. So, so these, these books, books had, had found impacts impact on, on people's lives. People's lives. Um, um, but this but is this a, is a, this is a story that has a good end. Because on the other the other hand, another another fellow whom you might might recognize. Any students know who that is? Just, just jump, jump in, in if you, if you do. do. Just unmute. unmute. They're all they're all put CSS. Yes, yes. Oh, they're all, they're all put. I can't see chat. Can't see chat. Yeah, yeah. I got it. Got it now. Okay, I got it. I got it. Sorry, sorry. I apologize, I apologize if I missed anybody, anybody in the chat, in the chat before. before. Oh, very oh, good. Very oh, good. Thank oh, thank you, Zoe. Zoe. I see that's where you're responsible. Okay, I'm good. I'm good now. Yes, yes, C.S. Lewis. C.S. Lewis read read the Everlasting Man. And, and is, is quoted, quoted in 1925 and is, and quoted, is quoted as saying somewhat later. Somewhat later. He, 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 said this, he said this. He said this later. later. Chester, 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 he said it was, it was the Christian, the Christian outline, outline of history, of history laid, laid before, before me for the first, first time, time in a way that, that made sense. sense. It put it history, history with Christ at the center. center. And he is and also quoted as saying, after reading this book, an atheist cannot be too careful about one's reading. So this converted Lewis to Christianity. Lewis, Lewis later, later marries, marries Joy, Joy and converts her to Christianity, Christianity as, well. as well. So, so between, between the two, the two books, books, we have C.S. Lewis, C.S. Lewis and, his and his wife, Joy, Joy um, um, maiden name David, David, David Man, uh, uh, who, who were both, were both profoundly, profoundly influenced by, by these words. Just, just a little, just a little side, side note I found, I found interesting. Anyway, anyway, on to the, on book, to the book itself. itself. Um, um, the book, the book is, is divided into two parts. And, and so, so Chesterton's, Chesterton's thesis, thesis is, is that, that he centers, centers the entirety, the entirety of, the of the story of history around, around Christ. Christ. Um, um, and, and for me, for me Clive, Clive Staples, Staples, very good. Yeah. Um, um, for me, for this me, was, was the, the draw, the draw of, it. of it. It, 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 was, it was, to quote, to quote Lewis, Lewis again, again for, me, for me, this, this idea, idea that, that I read, read a history, history of, of our world. Our world um, um, in a way, in that, a way that made sense, sense to me, to me. Centering, centering the entirety of, 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 the, of story, the story, his, his story, story, his history on, on Christ. Christ. Um, um, so part, so part one, one is called is The Creature, creature called, called Man. man. And then, and then uh, part, uh, part two, two is, is called, called The Man, the man called, called Christ. Christ. So we'll so focus, focus in, in for, just for just a little bit on part, part one. And, and what I want to do is I'll give you a real brief overview of part one. We'll go to we'll part, go to part two, two. We'll go to my favorite, favorite chapter, chapter a little bit. We'll talk a little bit about it as an example, example of what he does, does throughout, throughout, the throughout the work. work. And then we'll, and then finish, we'll finish up, up from, there. from there and see if you have any questions. questions. But, but part one, part one on the creature, creature called, called man. man. Chapter, chapter one, one is called The Man, man in the Cave. So this is the idea of when you say you hear cave man, this is the idea of what we see is some Neanderthal or some Cro-Magnon with person with a club who goes around beating other people on the skull day and 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 and, and, uh, uh, and there we are. There we are. That, and that certainly was, was um, um, H.G. Wells' understanding, understanding of history. history. Oh, you know, you know, we, we, we are developing, developing now. now. We are much much um, more, more than, than we were then because because, of, because, because we've evolved, evolved into, into, into this, this and and, and, and we'll continue, continue to evolve. evolve. 
um, um, into, into higher, higher and greater states, states and, 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 and we are no, we are no longer, longer this, this, this barbarian. barbarian. Chesterton, Chesterton like, like he does, he with, does everything, with everything, turns, turns, tries, tries, turns, turns the, whole the whole thing, thing on his head, head and, and, and he, he, attacks he attacks Wells, Wells for, for not, not his scientific, scientific understanding, understanding, but his, but his scientism, um, um, which is which to is say, say drawing, drawing conclusions um, that, that aren't scientific, scientific at all. all. From, from the, the evidence, evidence or lack, or lack thereof, thereof that's given, given to us, to us about, about things that may that have happened. happened. So, so I don't know, I if, don't anyone know if anyone has a copy, copy uh, with, uh, them, with them, but, uh, but uh, this, is, this the is the copy I'm using. And and I'm, I'm going, going to page, page 29, 29 right now. Right now. Uh, 28, 28, 29. In fact, in fact people, have people have been interested, interested in everything about the caveman, except what he did in the cave. Now, there does happen to be some real evidence of what he did in the cave. It is little, it is little enough, enough like, like all prehistoric, prehistoric evidence, evidence, but it's but concerned, concerned with, with the real caveman, caveman in his cave, cave. Not, not, not the literally li literary caveman, caveman and his, and his club. club. Sorry, Sorry I have pause, to pause and refine my spot, spot because, because I, don't I don't have my glasses. Glass. And it will, and it will, be, will valuable be valuable to our sense, to our sense of reality, reality considered quite simply, simply what the real, real evidence is and not go beyond it. For what was found in the cave was not the club, the horrible gory club, the cave, the cave was not very very chamber, chamber filled with skeletons, skeletons slaughtered, slaughtered wives. wives. Uh, uh, on. But it was, but it was filled, filled instead, instead with art. With art. Now Chesterton, now Chesterton was, was trained, trained as an artist. artist. And, and what he what calls, he calls the, art the art here. here. Secret, Secret chamber, chamber of rock, rock illuminated, illuminated after, after its long, long night, night of unnumbered, unnumbered ages. ages. Revealed, revealed on its walls, walls large, large and sprawling, sprawling outlines, outlines diversified, diversified with colored, colored earths. earths. And when they, and when they follow, follow the lines, the lines they, recognize they recognize across the void, the void, of, void of, ages, of ages, the movement, the movement and the gesture, gesture of man's, man's hand. hand. So, he, so says, he says, not only, not only is what is we find, find in the cave, cave art, art, it's good, it's good art. art. Um, that the that caveman, caveman with the club, with the club is, scientism. is scientism. That what the, the evidence, evidence suggests, suggests is that is the caveman, the caveman is an artist. Is an artist. Um, um, something, something that, that sought, sought something, something greater. greater. And in fact, in fact perhaps, perhaps the caveman, the caveman didn't, didn't even live in the cave. cave. Perhaps, perhaps he had a house. We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> What he had, what he had. Um, um, but we do but we know do there was art in the caves. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps the caves, caves were, actually were actually art chambers, chambers where people, where people would, would go look at the, at the, at the art on the wall. But what we know, we know is, is that, that, that the that idea, idea from barbarism, from barbarism to civilization, to civilization um, um, is being is challenged, challenged here. here. That, 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 that perhaps, perhaps there's something, there's something inside, inside of a human, human being, being that draws, that draws itself, itself to something greater. A spark of the divine. Um. So, so then he then goes, he goes into, into history. history. All, All of history, history Chesterton argues, argues is, is, is pre pre Christian, Christian history, history, history is preparation of the world, of the world for God's, God's entry. entry. And so we and so see the various, various places. places. Um, and, and so he and talks, talks a lot about, about the Greeks and they're, and they're seeking, seeking something, something beautiful. beautiful. Um, um, the, Greeks the Greeks didn't have, didn't have Christ, Christ, but can but we can learn, we learn from, from the Greeks? Yes, yes. As they draw themselves towards God. Via, via beauty, beauty um, um, via, via seeking, seeking understanding, understanding, via seeking, seeking engagement, engagement with, with their world. world. Um, um, and, and Judaism, Judaism in, the same in the same way. way. Judaism, Judaism as, as a beginning, beginning of, of understanding, understanding religion, religion and, and, and relationship, relationship with God. God. Um, um, as we we'll see, see, all of all these, these people, people are represented, are represented at, at, across, at the cross, the culmination, culmination, the center, the center point, point of all of history. history. Um, um, so, so Chesterton, Chesterton is very, is very gentle, gentle on the, on gen the Gentile world. Pun intended. Pun intended. Okay, okay, that was that funny, funny, but pun intended. Um, um, saying saying that that mythology is humans, humans groping, groping for, the for the idea of God. Of God. That Homer, Homer was, was looking, looking for, the for the idea of God, of God. Which, which is, is what we what believe, we believe in, in the Chesterton Academy. Chesterton Academy. Why, why classical, classical education, education is so important. That those, 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 I, I, those people, even people without, without the revelation of Christ, can, have, can, have, can bring, can bring us, us closer to understanding, understanding of, of God, God, as, God well. as well. Um, um, but but mythology, mythology can go, can go south. south. And, and that, that is, is what tends, what tends to happen. Play those cases. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> but this, this idea, idea of finding, of finding the light. The light. Um, um, Plato's, Plato's cave, cave is a beautiful, beautiful analogy, analogy of, of, of what, 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 what we seek. seek. 
Um, um, it is. It is a. It is. It a, is a. Now, we, now, now, people, people call it pill, 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 which I suppose is okay. It's okay. 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 a shadow, shadow of, of uh, the, the analogy, analogy that Plato gives us in the cave. Um, 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 so, so, but it, but does, it does tend, tend towards, towards challenging, challenging um, the, um, mythology, mythology can, can move, move in the wrong, in the wrong direction. direction. It can, it can move, move towards, towards hedonism. hedonism. It can it move, move towards, towards this, this idea, idea of, of making ourselves God, God, God and making pleasure, pleasure God. God. Um, um, and, 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 and he, he outlines, outlines this in, in what is my, what is my favorite, favorite chapter, chapter of, uh, of The Everlasting, of Everlasting Man, Man called The called War, War of, Gods of Gods and Demons. And Demons. Oops. Oops. Oh, oh. Um, um, I'm not sure I'm not sure I put the slide, slide here, but I'll speak to it. So this is... The idea, the idea of, of the, man the man in the cave, in the cave and, and the God, the God in, the in the cave. So he so juxtaposes, juxtaposes his two parts. Two parts but I'm going to go back, go back to, the, to the man, the man in, the in the cave a little bit. bit. But but he juxtaposes, he juxtaposes parts, juxtaposes two parts. Two parts. First, first, first talking, talking about, about that that the cave, the cave man, man truly, truly was the incarnated, incarnated human, human not incarnated, incarnated um, um, the divinely created human being. Um, far more more than this kind of kind of. Semi -animal, semi animal that is portrayed, that is portrayed elsewhere. elsewhere and then and then he juxtaposes that, that with the perfect, the perfect human, human christ, christ the god, the god in, the in the cave now now um, um, i'm sorry, sorry, sorry to, shatter to shatter any illusions, illusions for you, for you. Um, um if i'm shattering, shattering illusions, illusions but, but uh, god, god jesus, jesus was born, was born in, in, a in a cave um, um the picture, the picture of, of that cave is right there, right there. uh it's the upper left one one that is that is that is that is a small, small shrine, shrine my wife, my wife just, just recently, recently returned, returned from, from uh, a pilgrimage to the Holy Land, Land where, she, where was she was able, able to actually have mass, mass said, said at, on, on that, that altar, altar right, there. right there, and they're all, and they're all stuck, stuck the picture. I should have brought, brought that actual picture. picture. Um, they're, um, they're all stuck, stuck in the little corner on the right, right sitting, sitting, sitting together. It's a very small area because it's a divided area amongst the different churches. That 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 is that is the cave in which Jesus was born. And, and and she was, she able, was able to celebrate, celebrate mass, mass there. And there. So you see, so you see a, a picture of what, what would have been, been. Just because just because there wouldn't, there wouldn't have been wooden stables, stables at the time of Christ, Christ, Christ they, they were using, using caves, caves for stables. stables. Um, so, um, so almost, almost certainly, certainly Christ, Christ was born, was born in, in a cave. And, and certainly G.K. Chesterton, Chesterton, Chesterton felt that way. And so he called God in a cave. These two pieces. So I found a nativity story that used a cave there as well. You don't, you don't need to go, go correct people, people when they have, they have stable. stable. It's, it's a nice, nice image. Image. Yeah, it's, 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 it's okay. It's okay. 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 Sorry, that Sorry, was, that was out, out of order. order. But, but the, uh, the uh, he he spends, spends a lot of time, time in, in again. What again, is my what is favorite, favorite chapter. chapter? I'm going to, I'm going to page one thirty-seven. Um, um, outlining, outlining kind of, kind of the end end of, of mythology, mythology and the and problem with mythology ultimately. So, so this is BC two sixty four. We have we have two places, two places um, um, here, here with Carthage, Carthage and and, and Rome. And Rome. Now, now, are, are the Punic, Punic Wars, Wars ever covered, covered to the teachers? The teachers? Do we, do we... Yeah, 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 yeah. So some so of some them are, are, are covered. Yeah, yeah. Great, great ten. Great ten. So many, so many of you probably have already talked, talked about the Punic Wars. Wars so I hope, I hope that I, I won't step on the facts that you have. Feel free to. Free to Students, students, if, if, if students, students are well, correct, correct. If they get everything wrong, wrong. but, but um, <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, he, he outlines, outlines this great great empire, empire of Carthage, Carthage um, um, which was which a great, was a great mercantile, mercantile empire. empire. It, was it was a place, place where, where commerce, commerce uh, it, was, it was what would be what considered, would be considered civilized, civilized, cultured. They were they ahead, were ahead of, their of their time. time. Um, it was it run, run by, by great. great Oligarchs, oligarchs uh, uh, the, the the merchant, merchant princes, princes ran, ran Carthage. Carthage, and and they had they had two, two offshoot, offshoot areas that aren't on, on, on this map. But I do but I, do, I draw, I draw the attention, attention to them for reason, for reason called, called Tyre and Sidon, were also also Carthaginian offshoot, offshoot cities. They, they, they're on they're on the coast, the coast of what is now Israel. Israel. Mentioned, mentioned in scripture. scripture. <coughs> you see them. See them. Um, um, in fact, in fact, one of the one of the other names for the Carthaginian is mentioned in scripture as one of the enemies of Israel. Um, um, and Chesterton, Chesterton doesn't talk about, talk about that a whole, whole bunch, bunch, but I will, but I will I'll add, add that piece there because, because, because again, it's again, this it's idea, this idea of the Greeks, Greeks the, Romans, the Romans, and the Jews, and the Jews are, all, are all represented in, in the culmination of the cross. Of the cross. All, the, all the, the best, the best of, each of each of them comes, comes together, together in, in, in Christianity, Christianity, in Christ. Christ. Um, um, 
anyway, anyway, Carthage, Carthage was, was a, a an empire, an empire that, that 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 was, was on, the, on verge the verge of taking, of taking over everything. everything. Rome, Rome was, was also a small, small the Lamb part this time. This time. Um, um, but it but it, it was, was so they so they naturally, naturally came, came into conflict, into conflict with, each with each other. Um, um, but Rome, but Rome was, was at least Chuck Chuck represents, represents Rome at this time, this time as, as a Rome, a Rome of, the of the household gods. gods. Um, it, had um, it had a god, a god, god of the doorways, and a god of wine, 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 a god, god of the hearth, and, 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 and a god, and god of the family. Carthage had more modern gods, and so they worshipped Baal or Moloch, who is represented in the Old Testament as well. Um, um, Moloch, Moloch demanded, demanded sacrifice, sacrifice, and the and sacrifice, sacrifice of Moloch, Moloch was babies. babies. So, so, um, um, and, there's and there's physical evidence, evidence to point to this, to this where, where they, they, would, they basically would basically take babies, babies and throw, throw them into, them into a fire. fire. Um, um, this, 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 this was a sacrifice, sacrifice that, that, that Moloch, Moloch did. This was, this was the modern, modern sacrifice, sacrifice, if you will. If you will. Um, um, I'll just I'll read, read you a teeny bit from the beginning of chapter 5. How many do we have for time? Okay, okay. The materialist, the materialist theory, theory of history, history that all politics and ethics, and ethics are expression of economics. economics is a very, a very simple, simple fallacy indeed. indeed. It consists, it consists simply, simply of using the necessary, necessary conditions, conditions of life, life the normal, normal preoccupations, preoccupations of life, that are quite a different thing. thing. It is like, it is saying, like saying that because, that because a, man a man can walk, walk about, on, about two on two legs, legs therefore, therefore he never, he never walks, walks except, except to buy shoes, shoes and stockings. And stockings. I would, I would, I would, I would, uh, Put forward, put forward that, 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 that is our, our current understanding, understanding as well. As well. That, that economic understanding, understanding materialist, materialist understanding, understanding is, is the, the essence, essence of what, of what many, many people believe moves us, us to, do to do things. things. But, we, but know, we know, just, just reminds, reminds us that no, we're, that we're not, we're not, we're not about economic, economic theory, theory, history. We're not we're about, about materialist theory, history. Theory, history. We're about, we're about much more than that. And so they went. So this, this. This, this economic powerhouse goes to war with Rome, Rome. And, and, and in, in this, this beautiful, beautiful chapter, chapter um, um, they, 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 they get an, get army, an army, they even they have, have a great general, general by the name of Hannibal, of Hannibal you may you have may heard, have heard of. of. Um, and there were and elephants. There were elephants in this war that actually came up all the way around Spain and over the mountains of the Alps to invade Rome. And they were defeated. Rome was defeated. They had all given up. They were behind their walls. And... Okay, okay, well, that's well, enough. enough. We've, We've spent, spent enough, enough money, money on this war. Let's, war. Let's stop now. Yeah, but, yeah, but, gee, gee. They're, not, they're not, they're not, they're not giving, giving up. up. They're not they're giving up. What's going on? Ah, they'll give, they'll up. give up. It doesn't make, it doesn't any, make sense any sense to keep, to keep fighting. fighting. This is, this is, this is, this what, is what they call, they call Latin, Latin fury. fury. Right? The, right? The Italian fury. Oh, somebody managed to, somebody threw a head head was cut off. What's happening? Ah, don't worry about it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. But it wasn't fine. Because Rome, Rome, Rome saw, saw much of much Rome, of Rome, at least in Chester's understanding, understanding, saw, saw the, the evil, evil that was Carthage, um, um, and there was and there was there was, there was a saying, saying that went through Rome that 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 um, um, Carthago, Carthago or Delinda asked, Carthage, Carthage must be destroyed, destroyed. Um, um, and, and and they, 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 they would say the sentence at the end of everything. everything. They would be they speaking, speaking on local politics, politics and at the end of everything. Carthage must be destroyed. And and thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, um, why? Why? Because, because they, they saw that that was which was evil. Um, um, this is this the is war, war of gods, gods and demons. demons. This is the this war of the household gods, gods versus, versus what they what become, become ultimately, ultimately the end of the end mythology. mythology. Um, um, and, and so, so under Scipio, Scipio Africanus, Africanus, ultimately, ultimately the, the the war the was taken to Carthage, Carthage um, um, in in what should not have happened. happened. Um, um, by, by a materialist view of history. And Carthage, and Carthage was not only defeated, it was destroyed. destroyed. No, two, no, two, no two stones, stones stood on top of each other. And, 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 the, and the, the temple, temple Moloch, Moloch was, was obliterated, obliterated um, um, where they where found, they found um, um, the, the skeletons, skeletons of the babies, of the babies that were that sorry, sorry, still there. there. <laughs> and, Carthage and Carthage remains, remains just, a just a memory that most students of your age would never even know the word of and were better off for it. And 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 the other the other group that, that warred, warred against um, um, Carthage, Carthage or or the subsidiary, the subsidiary of Carthage, Carthage was the, was the, were the, Jews. Were the Jews, and so we and see, so we some, see of some of the most what we consider what we to consider be brutal, brutal pieces, pieces of the Old Testament, Testament where, where they are told, told to attack, to attack and, need, and no need no survivors. Why? Why? Well, because, well, because Carthage, Carthage must be destroyed. destroyed. Um, um, that part that doesn't come out, come out in the Old Testament, but the view of view of history we can see. That, that, that it was, it the, was war the war of gods and demons that was being dealt with here. And this, this chapter, chapter puts forward, forward is the best, best, 
the best, the best of mythology, of mythology, the best, the best it can offer. Unfortunately, Unfortunately it, it too deteriorates, deteriorates on itself. itself. Rome, Rome, Rome began, began to deteriorate, deteriorate on itself, on itself as, well, as well, because, 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 because we, we cannot, we cannot do, it do it on our own. Uh, uh, we, need we need Christ, the world, the world longs, longs for this idea, idea of Christ. Christ. And, so and so we see, we see the, culmination the culmination in, in the God, the God in, the in the cave. And then, and then ultimately, ultimately, and I'm going to turn, turn to page, to page 10, 10, the escape, the escape from, from paganism. paganism. Oh, oh, it's it's such such a chapter. Chapter. The strangest, the strangest story, story in the world. world. I'm just, just going to read, read a little, little bit here. here. <laughs> All, the, All great the great groups that stood about, about the cross, cross represent, represent in some way or another, or another the, great the great historical, historical truth, truth of the time. Of the time. Man, Man could do, could no, do more. no more. Rome, Rome and, Jerusalem, and Jerusalem and Athens and everything, and everything, everything else, else were going, going down, down like a sea, sea turned, turned into, into a slow cataract. cataract. Eventually, Eventually indeed, the, ancient the ancient world was still, still at its strongest. It is always, it is always at, that at that moment that the, that the inmost, inmost weakest, weakest weakness, weakness begins. begins. But in order, but in order to, understand to understand that weakness, that weakness we, must we must repeat what has been said more than once, that it is not the weakness of a thing originally weak, is an is emphatically, emphatically the strength, strength of, the of the world that was turned, turned to weakness, weakness and, the and the wisdom of the world, world turned, turned to folly. In the story, in the story of Good Friday, Friday, it is the it best, best thing in the world that are at their worst. worst. That is what that is really, really shows us the world, the world that is worst. worst. For in, for in, it is, it was, was, I'll just go on for another, for another minute. minute. It was, for instance, the priests of, of a true monotheism and the soldiers of international civilization. Rome, the legend, founded upon fallen Troy and triumphant fallen Carthage. Had stood, had stood for, for heroism. heroism. Rome, had, Rome defended had defended the household, the household gods. gods. Skepticism, Skepticism, however, however had eaten away, away even the confident, confident sanity, sanity of the conquerors, conquerors of, the of the world. world. He who he is was thrown to say what is, what is just, just can, only can only ask what is, what is truth. truth. Standing, Standing between, between the pillars, the pillars of, his of his own judgment, judgment seat, a Roman, a Roman had washed, washed his hands, hands of the world. And so, and we, so see we see here, here at the cross, cross the centrality, centrality of, of Christ. Christ. It brings, it brings together, together this Roman, Roman understanding, understanding, the Jewish, the Jewish religion, religion, and, and the, philosophy the philosophy of Greek. All that's, all that's best in ancient culture, culture that created, that created Christianity, Christianity um, um, the centerpiece, centerpiece of our of history, history, by which time, time itself, itself uh, the year we're in, we're in is, is marked. marked. Um, um, towards the end, the end of the book, the... He gives, he another, gives another, another apology for his, for lack, his lack of accuracy, accuracy and, and um, um, an apology, an apology to, to the person, the person who, caused who caused the, the, the writing of the book, H.G. Wells, as, as well. As well. Um, um, he talks, he talks a, little a little bit about Christians, about Christians as, as, as people, people who refused, refused to go, to go away, away like, like the Romans. Romans. Um, um, they were not they were defeated, defeated when they were martyred somehow. Somehow their blood, somehow they believed in something bigger. So, so, Ultimately, Ultimately uh, uh, kind of what kind I've given here is just, just a little, little bit of a taste, taste of, of why, why I find this, this book to be so moving, so moving and so powerful, powerful. and some and of, some of uh, uh, Chef's greatest work. work. I am I'm only disappointed, disappointed in myself, in myself that, that I should have talked less myself, myself and read, and read Chesterton, Chesterton because, because um, he his writing is uh, far more eloquent than anything I'm going to be able to say. But I will pause there. I will go back to this. Can I stop presenting? Stop sharing. There we go. And see if anyone had any questions, comments, or anything they wanted me to speak on at all. We're at twelve forty. Not bad. Okay, even it's left. We're ten ten forty. What time zone are you in? Twelve forty. Yeah. You're yeah. just down the hall. <laughs> ten forty. Ten forty. Yeah. Ten forty. Well, are there any questions out there? Students have questions. Otherwise, um, I'm going to have to start asking questions. All right. Well, I don't see any questions, so maybe I'll start asking. All right. Now, uh, Mr. Corgan, uh, at one once upon a time, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, was a social studies teacher. Does that sound right? Uh, yes, absolutely. Okay. Now, I think you mentioned uh, Everlasting Man. Uh, it maybe this is a passing conversation. Was able somehow it um, helped baptize your not necessarily imagination, but perhaps imagination, but understanding of history. Does that sound right? Uh, so, yeah. so, as a social studies teacher, then 
Uh, could you maybe just comment on how does everlasting man change your understanding of history or as a history teacher? How, how, how does it understand your vision? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it, um, great question. Um, it's interesting because when people talk about looking at social studies from a Catholic or Christian viewpoint, um, they say, oh, is it different? Well, taking a look at different, it's not different about the material. It's different glasses with which you view everything. Um, it's seeing everything in the light of the incarnation, um, which fundamentally changes how we view each piece. And this would be Chesterton's thinking as well, um, that it, it you're still talking about the bookcase, but the bookcase looks different when you when you view things through the glasses of Christianity or Catholicism, that understanding of everything. Um, the idea of history as a story um, and a story has an author not that everything's predetermined um we there we are characters each, each character each of us plays a part but that it is truly a story and understanding um that certainly is the the view of you want to give um or i wanted as a social teacher to give give my students walking away Okay, I, can I address the chat, Dr. Carney? Is that okay? Yes, go ahead. Thanks. What claims did H.G. Wells make about Christ in his outline of history? H.G. Uh, Wells briefly, okay, if recollection serves, I'm going to say, um, he does refer to Christ, but it is it is about the event of Christ as a human being. So H.G. Wells presents a completely atheistic view Um of, of the Christian understanding, which again, you know, and, and like I said, Belloc probably does a better job. If you want somebody to rip apart H.G. Wells' outline of history, you can go to Belloc. If you want somebody to present the positive view, I would say Chesterton does the, does the job. Yeah. What is my opinion of Chesterton as a writer of stories and poetry? Um, the, uh, Chesterton is not viewed as a as a magnificent poet. I like form in poetry, and so I enjoy Chesterton's poetry. I am not a poetical person myself. I'm poets are mystics, I find, and and I that 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 part of my personality I haven't quite got there yet. I think you know future spiritual development I'll get myself there. But I am uh, the Ballad of the White Horse is my favorite of Chesterton's poems. I would suggest, um, and. In terms of his drama, uh, the fascinating story, the third friend, another friend, another um, atheist, or at least deist friend of his is H, uh, George Bernard Shaw. And George Bernard Shaw, quite a bit, the senior to G.K. Chesterton, to stop me if you've heard this story, um, wanted Chesterton to write a play. And he insisted, you need to write a play. And, uh, and he says, if you don't write a play, and this is in a letter, I am going to come and through feats of strength, take your wife from you. Um, and you know, each Shaw was an old bad, right? And, and so he did ultimately write a play. I don't know which play he wrote in response to that, but he did write a play in response to that. So the, the poetry, um, probably and stories, I'm a huge fan of the Father Brown mysteries as well. Um, and I cannot wait to read the Father Brown inspired mystery written by one of your instructors here that I've heard about, uh, as well. So I hope that answered that question. Oh man, okay, there's lots coming in here now. Uh, what do I think about the current cause for beatification of Chesterton? Um, I am glad that the GK, the, the society for GK Chesterton has moved in this direction. I think it's appropriate. I think the argument that, oh, he has a wider distribution because he is a, uh, as a literary writer, um, is, is giving in to modern society in a way that I'm not comfortable with. Um, so, so I, I, how the cause moves forward, it seems to have stalled for some time. Um, there are challenges in regards to some of the writing, I'm not going to lie, in, in terms of um, Judaism, uh, which need to be viewed in a historic light. And, you know, I'll, I'll, I won't, that'll be a whole, that's a whole other talk for a whole day. Um, but I am hopeful that the cause moves forward. I really am. Um, because I think it would be beautiful. It's a, be a beautiful, joy-filled saint. Um, that I think is applicable uh, for our modern day. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Good. Thank you. 
silk silk zoom one was going to answer. Okay, thanks. Um, yeah, you know, um, Wells. Uh, so, do you know how Wells accounts for the rapid rise of Christianity power leader? Um, so, Wells' development is fascinating. So, he, he would have at attached it to kind of. I think his answer would have been a, a socialist answer, a communist answer to that. He was he was a fan of of the communist um, regimes that were beginning to pop up in that time period. But he himself comes into the level of despair with this view of history at the end. So he, so you know the answer would have been along the lines of people are sheep and 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 they would have would have been misled in this way and are, are looking looking for something, but this isn't the right thing. Um, but he himself, towards the end of his life, came to a level of despair, and and I think would not have, you know, seeing what the communist regimes ultimately amounted to, um, you know, one hopes with the grace of God came to a a, a deeper understanding of his own historical view, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, and any other questions out there? All right. Do we have, do we have time for one more? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So uh, here's here's another question for you. So here we have um, God in the cave, or sorry, sorry, uh, a man in the cave, and then the end of the image of, of, of God in the cave, the incarnation, right? Um, I'm just curious, how does everlasting man or Chesterton's reigns in general, that that polarity of the cave, the cave? change your understanding of the Eucharist. Uh, so, so here, this is um, uh, in the tabernacle of the everlasting, as um, uh, Chester puts it. A any, any thoughts on the, uh, how you view the Eucharist differently in light of this vision of history? Oh, oh, that's, that's a fascinating one. Um, no, off the top of my head, no, in terms of a Eucharistic understanding, um, I have found Chesterton has not written a whole bunch directly on the Eucharist. Um, the well in the shallows, perhaps uh, some references, but um, yeah, to answer your question, I, I have never put those in, in communication with each other. My Eucharistic, I get a far more Eucharistic flair from Tolkien than I do from Chesterton, I guess is, it would be the answer I would give you. Um, where, where, Tolkien has it at the center of everything and every thought. Chesterton does. I'm not saying he doesn't, but it doesn't. Um, it hasn't came out for me as something. So I don't know. If, I don't know if you're aiming at something there, Doctor McClarney, but I'm not. But yeah, good question. I will think about that. Thank you. Okay. Do you know any stories yeah. of yeah. Chesterton between Chesterton and his and his uh, family wife? So the uh, sad state of the affairs is that Chesterton could not have children um, and uh, so something that I think was a cross that they bore, the two of them bore for, the, for their entire life because Chesterton was such a um, devotee of his wife and of children. Um, you know, he was known for, for entertaining children at the parties, right? Throwing, throwing buns in the air and catching them in his mouth, etc. cetera. Um, and th that was uh, an eternal cross that, that they bore not being able to have uh, children. His devotion to his wife, ultimately I will suggest, one thing I'll suggest about that is his wife was Anglican and I believe delayed his, Chesterton's entrance into the Catholic Church, um, in my opinion, um, because, of, because he wanted to do it with his wife and, and wait for her um, in a gentlemanly fashion. Yeah. Yeah, we're all his children now. Yeah, yeah that's very good. Oh, yes. Oh, I, th this was my homage to G.K. Chesterton today about his forgetfulness. I've forgotten my glasses. I've forgotten the book. Um, I've forgotten the time zone, apparently, um, in, in my pale imitation of, of G.K. today as well. So, yes, uh, where ought I to be? And the answer is, of course, home. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate you taking the time.